I have a sweet moment, 54 years in the making. A man getting his high school class ring back after losing it many years ago. Yeah, in, in the sand too, but a stranger found it somehow, then returned it to him this afternoon, and our Lauren Edwards was there for this awesome exchange and the laughter that came with it. So the South High grads you see behind me, they gather here at Marge's Donuts once a month to catch up and reminisce since a laugh. But today they gathered for a very special reason and for some pretty bling. Who's Bruce? Bruce. Jan Malik stopping by Marge's Donuts Den in Wyoming Tuesday with a special delivery. Does that Put look familiar? Right? That looks like it. Huh? Did you wear it this way or nope, the other way? This yep. way? Yep. <sighs> Perfect. <laughs> Bruce hoaxed 1968 South High School class ring on his finger, right where it belongs. Well, thank oh. you. Thank you so much for going to all the trouble. Finding oh, my it. goodness. Jan says it was no trouble at all. She found it while recently cleaning out her mom's basement. And we found this big wooden box, and she had various things in there. And in this box were two South High School class rings. So through that process, I'm like, we have to find the owners of these. So she went straight to the internet, did some online sleuthing, and found Bruce's alumni group, the South High School Spirit Network. And on our Facebook page, we have over 1,500 members. So when people can't find people or need to know anything, they can go on that web page for Facebook and uh, find all the information that they need to get. And that's how that jam got a hold of me and I got a hold of Bruce. Immediately, Frank looked through the yearbook, found Bruce's name, and asked him about a missing ring. Frank texted him a picture of it, and sure enough, it was Bruce's. This is amazing. This is really crazy. Um, uh, hard, it's really hard to describe, actually. Uh, I thank Frank so much for uh, doing everything that he does for the group. And Bruce was grateful Jan made this happen. The school has since closed, but the ring brings back sweet memories. I know I, if I lost my high school or college ring, that means a lot. And I think it means a lot more because the school closed that year. And I just really wanted him to have that ring back. What a sweet story. And as for that other ring, Jan and Frank are already on it. They're looking for the owner or family of the owner to make sure that ring gets back to them. Reporting here in Wyoming, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News.